Hi, everyone. This is Matthew J. Peters. I am the CEO of Ascend Media, and I know a lot of you that are interested in podcasting or video podcasting. And if you don't know, I produce a lot of podcasts. I've produced hundreds of podcast episodes, and I want to give you some of my experience today. As a matter of fact, I want to share with you my high-ticket podcast blueprint. All right, I'm going to focus specifically on the episode layout. It's very important. A lot of people have these dreams that of making lots of money with their podcast. They're going to go out there and they get some sponsors and they're going to start making money off their sponsors. That's not really how it works. If you are a coach or a mentor or a trainer or someone who has high ticket services that you offer, or this is something you want to do, there's a specific way you're going to want to lay out your podcast. Or what happens is you're going to have an opportunity that is missed because you just didn't know how to put it all together. A lot of people just start talking on their podcasts or some will put a minute and a half of music and then they'll come in. I've heard all kinds of podcasts. There's a lot of uh, nightmare situations that uh, you just want to forward, 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 get to what they're talking about or they just ramble. Tonight, I want to give you a format so you understand what you can do with your podcast. Tonight, I do have slides, so I'm just going to bring up that slide. I'll try to talk to this uh, audibly too to describe some things. Uh, just for the people who are listening in. So this is the High Ticket Podcast Blueprint. And tonight I'm going to cover the different aspects of that, that podcast episode. All right, so I've got this bar here that's a bar of time. So we are cutting it up into sections. So I have three sections, four sections. And then you can see that throughout here I have multiple sections. But I'm going to talk you through each one of these sections and what they are. All right? The first one is sponsor. Now, I just talked to you about not having a sponsor, but the sponsor can be your company. Your company is sponsoring this episode of whatever the name of the podcast is. Great name for the podcast is something that you want to promote as um, the name of one of the programs you offer. Think about the name of your podcast. It goes after the name of your program. It makes a lot of sense. Uh, Whatever the name of your podcast should be play into what your company is all about. But you're the sponsor, so start out just a few seconds, and I'll get into the length of this in just a moment. The next one is the intro. The intro is where you have your music, and they introduce you as the expert, right? This is positioning you as the expert, the person to listen to. The next part is the welcome. You actually come on and say welcome to everybody. And tell them what this episode is about. And the next section is your early call to action. Now, why do we have an early CTA right here? It's because a lot of times people don't listen all the way to the end of your podcast. Actually, about 85% of people who listen to podcasts listen, listen to the whole thing. But even if, you're, uh, if you love a specific podcast, there's going to be times where you just don't listen to the ads at the end or the closing. At this point, you go into your content. So after your early call to action, you go into your content. What does an early call to action sound like? An early con- uh, call to action would be something like, But first, if you're interested in blah, 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 go visit my website at this URL so you can get your free blank. All right. Now, you're not trying to marry people on the first date here. Give them something of value where it's going to give them a little bit of a result in advance of actually working with you or picking up the phone and calling you to see if it's a good fit for you to work or not. Demonstrate a little bit of your value there. So after your early call to action, you have your content. And then I have here a promotion. Now, what is a promotion? This is not where you're going to have a buddy of yours who wants you to offer one of their things in your thing. You can do that if you want. If you want to affiliate something or or give referrals out and get a, a, a percentage or a bonus off of each one of those referrals you do, you could do that. But if you have your own things, why don't you promote something that you want to sell or offer right now? That's definitely a place you can do it right there in the middle Content, go right back into your content after your commercial break and then wrap it up. Just give people a couple of points that you had from your, your uh, layout of your, your um, framework for your, your podcast so people know some of the points. You're just refreshing them on that. And then you close with your end call to action. So your music ramps up. And as you're giving that closing, you're going to give people what are the next steps. And if you did have that early call to action that's very short, you can go into more depth into the the reasons why people should go to your website and get that thing. Sometimes the promotions, what people do is actually they go right to book a phone call. You know, if this is you, you and you match these things, book your call with me. So let's go into how long each of those sections should be. 
So from when you start with your sponsor, your sponsor should really only be about 10 seconds. Intro, welcome, right till you get to the CTA, the early CTA, don't make that any more than a minute. I've done that and I think you get people speeding through it. You want people to get to the punch within those 60 seconds because they'll give you a minute. If you think about every, every one of your favorite songs, if you listen to them on the radio, you can take out your watch and right around 60 seconds is when you get the hook from the, the, the chorus, right? That's what you listen to the song for. You'll listen to that verse, the first verse. You're going to listen to it so you can get the payoff of the hook, right? That's where you have the early CTA. That's your hook. If you're interested in this, I've got something even better than this podcast episode for you. Your promotion, which is roughly in the middle of your podcast, don't make it any more than 30 seconds, all right? Just make it just a few seconds, make it punchy, and make it something that's congruent with where, why they're there and what you're talking about in that episode. Don't make it off in left field somewhere where they're saying, I don't understand why I'm hearing this. And all of us have gone to listen to podcasts where they, they're free podcast platforms where, hey, we'll stick ads in for you. I've literally got ads for like makeup and Clorox ble bleach and stuff. It's like, I don't know why I'm getting these ads. I just want to fast forward through them. So don't, don't make it something that's incongruent with why they're there. And then your wrap up at the end, I recommend no more than 90 seconds. Because people, even if they love you, they'll skip through the last part most of the time. Or they just let it play out to your next episode. I want to invite you to our High Ticket Media Mastery Society. I tell people this is the longest name I could come up with. But the High Ticket Media Mastery Society has a few different pieces to it. It is uh, I designed it for people who had wanted to work with me in the past. They love the things we do with cinematic videography for marketing. Also, some of our syndicated podcasting and our social media. Um, but they just couldn't afford that. And they couldn't afford the the one-on-one -on -one coaching or some of the group coaching that I've had in the past. This is high ticket coaching and high ticket training. And let me get into it because if you've been wanting to work with me or if you wanted these results in the past, definitely just reach out to me right here. Um, the high ticket media mastery society has the high ticket media vault right when you get in the door, there's 30 video trainings I've already done. Not little short ones like this, but we're talking about 45 to an hour and 15 minutes. That's it's a lengthy training. I go into depth. All right. So you have access to those right away. Every month I have a high, a new high ticket training every month. So this is going to be something that's new. This is going to be something that we're going to be doing live. I'm going to do a live training. It's going to be anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour. And following that within a few days is going to be the monthly group coaching Q and a, this is where I'm going to answer your questions for the situations you're in. Now, the great part about this is those questions can be from any one of the, the high ticket trainings that I'm doing live that you are a part of, or you watch the recording of because you couldn't make it live or anything from the vault. So all of those questions are on the table. You can ask me any of those questions. And I love answering the questions of the people who do the work. So if you're doing the work, definitely I want to help you out even more. And then you also get a ticket to the upcoming one day marketing event we have coming up. I haven't officially announced it yet, but this is something we have coming up and you'll get one ticket to it. So the monthly membership is only $249 a month. If you've been wanting to have a high ticket coach for a long time, you just couldn't afford a thousand, three thousand plus dollars a month. I know my, my high ticket coach, the first one I had, I was making $5,000 payments for six months. It was not easy, right? Making $5,000 payments when you're just learning high ticket. This is a way for you to start, get your foot in the door, and you're going to learn a lot of things that high ticket coaches aren't going to teach you because I'm going to focus on your marketing messaging and the tools you use through podcasting, video, video podcasting, the things that people invest a lot of money in, in their marketing to work with us. I'm going to teach you some of those things so you can go out and you can do those things on your own and get results. All right. My whole focus here is for you to get results. This is not one of those do it yourself and see you later. I want to make sure that you're moving forward. You're not stuck. And this is something that is going to be here for you. If you want to be one of our charter members, get in right now and you can lock in your membership at $149 a month. I'm going to be starting this next Monday. So when Monday rolls around, I want you to be a part of it. I want you to be in it. If you are, then you're going to get in for $149. 
after that, it's going to be $249, which is still a steal. All right. I mean, so the first little group I was in was twice that. It was $500 a month, and it was very limited. This is incredible training. You already have 30 episodes or, or 30 trainings in there. I want to help you out. I want to see you succeed, and this is one way you can do it. So if you've been waiting, wait no longer. Get in. It's $149 a month right now, and you're going to be getting some amazing training, and you can ask me those questions you wanted to ask in the past. All right. Thanks so much, and I look forward to seeing you later.